I would like to first start out by thanking the Alexandria Police, Sheriff's Office, Fire Department, the FBI, ATF, and all of our federal law enforcement local partners who assisted in this response. Certainly, it's a very large response. It's going to take a while to sort through all of the details. Uh, my units of our Dignitary Protection Division were on site with uh, Congressional Protectee when we had uh, in it, uh, when the incident occurred. They did engage in, in, in gunfire with the suspect and were assisted by the Alexandria Police. The officers, the United States Capitol Police officers who were injured um, are in good condition and have not suffered any life-threatening injuries at this point. Um, as we get more information, we'll be working through the uh, FBI and uh, our local partners with the Alexandria Police uh, to provide more details as they become available. But at this point, I'd like to turn it over to uh, the FBI. Uh, good morning, Tim Slater. I'm the SAC, the special agent in charge of the Washington Field Office. And I just want to reiterate what the chiefs have said. This is a secure community at this point. Um, it's an active investigation. However, the security of the community is a paramount, and I want to reassure you that that's the case. So we got involved around 9.30 this morning. Uh, initially, we responded with our National Capital Response Squad from the JTTF per our protocol, and uh, they were assisting our state and local partners. Once it was confirmed that we had a member of Congress that was involved in the incident, we have taken the lead. However, this is a joint uh, command, and this is a joint investigation with our state and local partners to include who's been at the microphone already and our partners from ATF and Alexandria County and Alexandria the City and uh, Capitol Police as well. I will take a couple questions in just a second, but I want to turn it over to the governor for a second for a couple comments. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.